Hey, welcome to Pair Review. My name is Perry. This is my wife, Sintu. So today we'll be reacting to episode 10 of BoJack Horseman. Um, on the last episode, uh, Diane and both uh, both Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter were both having reservations about their wedding, but no one admitted to it. Yeah. Um, so we kind of knew that from the outside, but I don't think no one else knows about it either. BoJack's been trying to sabotage the wedding, and Todd found out what BoJack did to ruin yeah. his dreams. Um, Todd didn't really act out on it, so he's he kind of keeping it to himself, but it's out there now. It's there now, and it gets out in the open. So I'm curious to see how, where it's going to go from there. There's only three episodes left in the season, so things are just escalating now. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see where it goes. So enough talking. Let's, let's go watch the episode. It's an even sweeter treat to be played by my good amigo, dare I say, best amigo? You dare it. We're so in tune, we even finish each other's <laughs> sentences. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't happen. It never it happens. Ah, see? I'm inside him. Bojack, you haven't worked in quite some time. <coughs> in fact, I thought you were dead. You must be so grateful wow. to be working again and also alive, which, again, I thought you were not. How'd you get involved with this? Well, you want me to play Mr. Peanut Butter in the story he stole from me? Fine, I'll do the dumb movie. But if you find me in a bathtub with open wrists tomorrow and the words, I hate my agent smeared across the walls <laughs> of blood... You'll know why. So obviously I'm thrilled to be here. Just thrilled. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I was thinking, um, you know how, like, when you see um, celebrities, like, actors, like, they're doing all those interviews and stuff, and it's mm -hmm. always the same questions again and again and again. You know they're faking it. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's probably already, like, scripted for them, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to ask you these questions. Mm -hmm. Just answer like this. Keep it very minimal or like, you know, don't say too much. Mm -hmm. Everything is scripted. Oh, yeah. Hey, stranger. Haven't really seen you since the wedding. Kind of feels like we're coming back to school after summer vacation. Yeah, I'll see you at the pep rally. Hope we don't get Mrs. Kirkman for trig this year. Yeah, well, I hope the cheerleaders don't stuff me in a locker and write virgin slut on my forehead. And then when I ask how I can be both a virgin and a slut, they make me eat a lipstick. Uh, Jeez. So, what have you been up to these last couple months? So, I'm sending the first draft of the book to Pinky this afternoon. What? It's done? Not yet. Almost. I'm excited for you to read it. But I'm also cripplingly nervous. I actually kind of feel like throwing up. But I can't throw up because I haven't had anything to eat because this lady won't let me in my own kitchen. Cast and crew only. Listen, if reading a book you wrote is anywhere near as great as it is to actually spend time with you, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Having said that, what do I know about books? I'm just a dumb actor. I'm here with Hollywood darling Naomi Watts. Is it true you stay in character between takes? Oh, we all do. The director insists upon it. He even has everyone calling me Diane to help me get in the headspace. It's been great. Diane, looking good. Um, thanks. No, not you. I was talking to Diane. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, where's my peanut butter? Right over here, Q. No, I'm looking for peanut butter. Oh, you mean Bojack? If I wanted Bojack, I would call Bojack. Did someone call for Bojack? It really cuts down on confusion. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's it been like since we got married? Is it everything we dreamed of since we were little? When I was little, I dreamed of getting a MacArthur grant for my zine about how all the girls at school were bitches. Look, the wedding was great, but that's not real life. I mean, I guess I got a happy ending, but every happy ending has the day after the happy ending, right? And the day after that. So the wedding was so much fun. It was the happiest day of my life. But, you know, what does that say about all the days I have left? Whoa. We're such a Zoe. Yeah. I can't believe I'm on a movie set, you know? I mean, this is my first chance to work on something big since my rock opera fell apart. Man, I really messed up that huge career opportunity all on my own, didn't I? Uh... Nothing sabotaged me one bit. Yep. You said it. Well, see you later. Wow. <laughs> um, excuse me? I, I don't know. This is probably stupid, but the whole story's about how this guy's in love with this lady, right? But we don't even know who she is or what she wants. I mean, maybe give her more lines or, or words or, I don't know, feelings or whatever? What? Uh, he, he's new. He doesn't know the rules. <laughs> Forgive him, mighty Caesar. Yes. Yeah. I love you. Who is this kid? You're a genius. I'm gonna kiss your face. What? Oh. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Have you seen the new draft? They took it all off you and put it on me. 
What? Apparently some dickweed named Todd decided I should be three-dimensional and you should have no lines. Ugh, isn't this town sick of creating three-dimensional roles for women? This happens to me all the time. Ayo Scott, expect to talk. She doesn't want to talk in this. No. She just has a paycheck. <laughs> There's my guy. I heard you had a few more thoughts about the script. I do. I was just thinking, what if we made the Bojack character into a real shithead? Is that really necessary? I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, let's let's make him be a real selfish asshole so the audience has someone to root against. You're probably right. Let's take another swing at the script and give Bojack more to do. Now, when you say give Bojack more to do... Not now, Mr. Peanut Butter. And also, now that I'm thinking about it, why does the movie have to take place on Earth? You are blowing my head. I hope you like Austin. Is it just me, or is this movie kind of flying off the rails? Well, I don't want to overuse my catchphrase here, but true dad. This is so typical. I just wanted to do something light and fun to distract me from the deep well of sadness that is my life. You probably wouldn't understand. Oh, please. I'm so deep down a well of sadness that baby Jessica is like, damn. Shut up and kiss me, you miserable goof. What? <laughs> Naomi, I haven't felt like this since... No, 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 sh 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 call me Diane. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Okay, want to do some hand stuff in the bathroom before we go down to set? You've read my mind. Now kiss me some sour cream. <laughs> hey, so I pushed the book and sent the draft to the publishers. What? My book is ready? Let me read it. Can I read it? Call Pinky. He'll probably send you a copy as soon as he's done with it. All right. You hang tight, baby. I got an instant classic to read. Keep the engine running, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Penguin Publishing. Unless this is that loan shark, in which case, Johnny's House of Noodles may interest you in our bento oh, lunchbox. Pinky, it's me. Let me read the book. All right, book. Let's see what you got. Bojack, this is you. One trick pony. Uh oh. The first time I met Bojack Horseman, he was puking cotton candy off the deck of his lavish house in the hills. The lights of the city twinkling below us. The guys of the car stepped out toward the coast and looked across the water. And for a moment, he said nothing. What the shit was that? What the shit is this? It's a phone. Well, a tiny computer, really. I'm mean, amazing what technology it can do. You were supposed to ghostwrite my memoir, but instead you wrote a story about how you spent six months with me and saw what a big dumb loser I am. I come off like a total asshole. You come off as complex and deeply troubled, but ultimately sympathetic. You might be too close to see that. There's an entire chapter about me eating apple fritters. You did go through that fritter phase. Is this book how you see me? That day we ran errands together, I thought that we had a really good time. But you just wrote about how I cried because the dry cleaner took my head shot down. You are very emotional. They didn't even replace me with anyone. Now it's just a faded spot where my face used to be. This will actually do wonders for your career, trust me. This is not a casual conversation between friends. This is your boss telling his employee that she did a bad job. Try again. What? Start over, but do it right this time. Nobody is ever going to see this. Diane? Hey, wait. You still work for BuzzFeed? Um, yes. Because I got something that's going to get you a shit ton of hearts. Oh, or dicks, boy. Or smileys, or whatever the hell you measure your journalism with. Oh, good you're here. Oh, uh, oh, hi, Bojack. This whole day's been a shit show. The book turned out to be a total hatchet job. The movie's a disaster. But thank God I have one good thing in my life, and that's you. I'm in love with you, Naomi. Bojack, they fired me and replaced me with a ball on a stick. I'm so sorry. But look at the bright side. Now you and I can just hang out and talk about feelings. No, but you're not getting it. Boys never get it. Bojack, I was in character as Diane, and as... Diane, we had a real connection. But now that I'm off the movie, I'm Naomi again. And Naomi is got not twice. interested in Bojack Horseman. In fact, she thinks he's kind of close. So I didn't fall in love with Naomi Watts. No, you fell in love with Diane. Naomi oh God. Watts! Goodbye, Bojack. Ugh, see? This is Nothing. so sad. That's why we finally settled on this. Wow! What am I looking at? It is a bi-monthly curated box of snacks. This is the future of cinema. You guys, finally, my story has been told. What? Okay, that's a wrap, everyone. Thanks for making this box of snacks a reality. Let's go home. What the hell happened to the movie? So, cutting my part down was not about revenge? No. And making Bojack the villain of your movie was not a coded statement of your feelings about me? No. 
Oh, okay, great. Well, I'm, I'm glad we buried the hatchet and everything's cool. Uh, actually, you know, everything is not cool. He ruined my rock opera by using character actors Margot Martindale to trick me into playing an addictive video game. It was something I cared about, and what you did really hurt me. Oh, well, this feels shitty. You sure you don't want to just get some revenge real quick? Dump me once in the stones and then we'll be even? I gotta go. I've got some artisanal popcorns to gauge the mouthfeel of. Five shocking facts from new Bojack book? Oh, no. No! Uh, everyone, please turn off your internet. It has gone bad. I repeat, the internet has gone foul. What a loser. I'm not that guy. Uh, what the hell? I know, I know. But if you just listen for- You posted your dumb little book on the internet. No, I just leaked the first couple chapters and people are already talking about it. This is wildly unprofessional. Who do you think you are? I know you're mad and you have every right to be, but you gotta read some of these comments. People love you and they're gonna love you even more when they read the rest of my book. Your book? Our book. This is a really good book. And if you just give it time, oh. you'll see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Really? No, you're fired. Oof. Oh my god. Things are gonna escalate badly. Now he broke up relationship with both Todd and, and Diane. Diane. He fired her. Todd doesn't want anyone to like you know even be in the same room as him. I know. His film, his film movie just went out of nowhere. I had no idea what was going on. In right. That movie. The movie went from a genuine you know like a real life the thing that happened into some crazy the, thing. Yeah. And then into ended space. up and then ended up into a stupid gift basket. What? Oh, the yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened? Were they all on pot or I was like, drugs or something? How does this sum up his life? Oh my god, but yeah, like everything just, he lost everything. He lost his book, he lost his movie, he yes. lost his roommate, and he lost the girl that he liked. Yeah, he lost everything. Oh my god. Oh my <sighs> this god. show. I want to know what happens <laughs> I, I do want to know what happens because we're so close to the se end of the season, so we're going to continue watching. So um, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and uh, please comment, and we'll see you guys next time. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.